Hi, and welcome to our installation rules part 19 of paper one video, which focuses on special installation section 7.12 relating to alternative supplies. Alternative supplies. Note, alternative supplies include, but are not limited to low voltage generating sets, PV installations, gas generators, diesel generators, wind turbines, and hydropower plant. General. Subclause 7.12 applies to an installation that incorporates alternative supplies intended to supply either continuously or occasionally all or part of the installation with the following supply arrangements. Supply to an installation or part of an installation which is not connected to the main supply of a supplier. Supply to an installation or part of an installation as an alternative to the main supply of a supplier. And appropriate combinations of the above. Note 1. Requirements of the supplier should be ascertained before any alternative supply is installed in an installation connected to the main supply of a supplier. Note 2. This part of SANS 10142 does not cover the generation plan, integration and synchronizing requirements of an alternative supply operating in parallel with the main supply to an installation. Subclause 7.12 covers but is not limited to the following. Alternate supply that consists of a combination of internal combustion engine or a turbine, hydro plant, wind in energy recovery installation or any similar source of mechanical energy and an alternator or DC generator. Rotary UPS systems that consist of a combination of an electric motor and an alternator with batteries as standby power source for the electric motor or with an internal combustion engine, gas, or turbine as a st standby power source for the alternator, and static UPS systems that consist of static inverters with batteries as standby power source with or without bypass facilities. Installations similar to those in 7.12.1.2, but sourcing energy from photo photovoltaics or other sources. Requirements for alternative sources of supply. Where any form of alternative supply, emergency supply, UPS, other static inverters, or wind turbine inverter generators is connected to an electrical installation, a notice to this effect shall be displayed at the main switch of the installation, and where such supply supplies power only to certain circuits in a distribution board, a power on indicator visible or audible shall be provided on each such distribution board as well as a notice indicating that the standby power main switch shall also be switched off in an emergency. Only supplies a part of the electrical installation. The notice shall also be displayed on each distribution board in that part of the installation. All forms of alternative devices, such as inverters, shall comply with the requirements of 16.1. The means of excitation and commutation shall be appropriate for the intended use of the alternative supply, and the safety and proper functioning of other sources of supply shall not be impaired by the generating plant. The prospective short circuit current and prospective earth fault current shall be assessed for each source of supply or combination of sources, which can operate independently of other sources or combinations. The short circuit rating of protective devices within the installation and, where appropriate, connected to the main supply shall not be exceeded for any of the intended methods of operation of the sources. 
Where the alternative supply is intended to provide a supply to an installation that is not connected to the main supply, or to provide a supply as a switched alternative to the main supply, the capacity and operating characteristics of the alternative supply shall be such that danger or damage to equipment does not arise after the connection or disconnection of any intended load as a result of the deviation of the voltage or frequency from the standard range. Means shall be provided to automatically disconnect such parts of the installation as may be necessary if the capacity of the alternative supply is exceeded. Where an alternative supply is provided to an installation or part of an installation as a switch alternative to the main supply, the change over switching device shall disconnect the main supply before the alternative supply is switched in. The change over switching device shall be interlocked in such a way that the main supply and the alternative supply cannot be connected to the installation or part of the installation at the same time. Except we otherwise permitted in this part of SANS 10142, where a socket outlet is installed in a circuit or in standby power, such circuits shall be protected by an earth leakage protection device with a rated earth leakage stripping current not exceeding 30 milliamps. A 230 volt generator with a VOV earth connection, center tap on winding, which is earth, shall not be connected to a fixed electrical insulation. installation. Note, such a generator may be used as a freestanding unit to provide power to specific appliances. Earthing requirements and earth leakage protection. Neutral bar earthing. Protection in accordance with the requirements of 6.7 shall be provided for the electrical installation in such a manner as to ensure correct operation of the protection devices irrespective of the source of supply or combination of sources of supply, operation of the protection devices shall not rely upon the connection to the earth point of the main supply where the generator is operated as a switched alternative to the main supply. Where there is no existing earth electrode installed in the electrical installation, a suitable earth electrode may be installed in accordance with SANS 10199 when installed, the electrodes shall be bonded to the consumer's earth terminal and to the earthing point on the alternate supply by a conductor of at least half the cross-section of that of the phase conductor, but not less than 6 square millimeters copper or equivalent. This also applies to a single phase supply. Note 1. In a TN system earthing of electricity supply, an earth electrode is normally not required in an electrical installation. Now, two, protection of photo photovoltaics should be by means of lightning protection device or surge protective device. In an installation that is supplied from a combination of transformers and alternative supplies located near to each other, the neutral points of each of these items shall be connected to a single earth neutral bar. This earth neutral bar shall be the only point at which the neutral of the installation is earth. Any earth leakage device shall be positioned in such a way as to avoid incorrect operation due to the existence of any parallel or neutral earth path. Where alternative supplies are installed remotely from the installation or from one another, and where it is not possible to make use of a single neutral bar which is earthed, the neutral of each unit shall be earthed at the unit and these points shall be bonded to the consumer's earth terminal. The supply from each unit which supplies the installation or part of the installation shall be switched by means of a switch that breaks all live conductors operating substantially together. To disconnect the earth neutral point from the installation neutral when the alternative supply is not connected. 
where only part of an installation is switched to the alternative supply in the same distribution board, the neutral bar shall be split. Additional requirements for installations that incorporate electrical supply derived from static inverters used with uninterruptible power supply equipment and photovoltaic installations off-grid or on-grid. The output of such units shall be fitted with overcurrent protection devices designed to disconnect the output of the unit in the case of overcurrent or earth faults that occur. The earth loop impedance, including the internal impedance of the unit, shall comply with the requirements of 8.6.5. Where a common neutral and a bypass switch are used, the part of the installation supplied by the alternative supply shall be provided with earth leakage protection when required. See also 6.7.5.5 for exclusion relating to safety supplies. Protection against overcurrent. Overcurrent protection and isolation shall be located as near as possible to the output terminals of each alternative supply unit, except where the cable connecting the unit to the distribution board is mechanically protected and is regarded to be within the fault-free zone of the distribution board where protection is installed. The circuit breaker magnetic characteristic shall have a low threshold value in view of the high impedance in the case of a generator or of the current limiting characteristics in the case of a static inverter UPS. Downstream coordination shall take this into account. To be consistent with the rest of this part of SANS 10142, overcurrent protection is required for the protection of the conductors but might also provide protection to the alternative supply unit. Where an alternate supply system is intended to operate in parallel with the main supply, or where two or more alternate supply systems may operate in parallel, circulating harmonic currents shall be limited so that the thermal rating of conductors is not exceeded. The effects of circulating harmonic currents can be limited by the selection of alternate supply system with compensated windings, the provision of suitable impedance in the connection to alternate supply system generate a star position, the provision of switches which interrupt the circulatory circuit but are interlocked so that at all times protection is not impaired, the provision of filtering equipment and other suitable means. DC conductors and battery protection methods. Color coding for AC-DC solar voltaic installations shall be in accordance with the requirements given in 6.3.3. Note, DC circuits may be identified by means of colors or symbols. Additional requirements for installations where the alternate supply system provides a supply as a switched alternative to the main supply, standby systems and UPS systems that incorporate bypass switching. Precautions that comply with the requirements of 6.9 and 6.16 for disconnection shall be taken so that the alternate supply system cannot unintentionally operate in parallel with the main supply where the supply to the electrical installation is supplied by a supplier. Note 1. Suitable precautions can include an electrical, mechanical or electromechanical interlock between the operating mechanisms or control circuits of the chains over switching device or a system of locks with a single transferable key or a three position break before make chains over switch or an automatic chains over switching device with suitable interlock or other means that provide equivalent security of operation, or an inverter if it complies with IC62116. Note 2. All the protection measures for alternate supply in accordance with this standard still apply. 
The control panel may be either set mounted or be a freestanding cabinet. In either instance, the cabinet shall be considered a control assembly. Additional requirements for photovoltaic and similar installations that provide a supply as an alternative to the main supply. The photovoltaic installation shall comply with SAN 60364-7-712 and the solar panel shall comply with SAN 61215 for poly and monocrystalline or SAN 61646 for thin film. The DC component of the installation shall comply with 7.15 that deals with DC installations. The rated voltage of each circuit shall be clearly indicated at all ends of the circuit. In the case of combined circuits, every circuit shall be easily identifiable. Where single core conductors are used, such conductors for each circuit shall be tied together at intervals to ensure identification unless another suitable arrangement is employed. Precautions regarding parallel operation as prescribed in 7.12.6.1 and overcurrent protection as prescribed in 7.12.4.1 shall be provided. In addition, it shall be recognized that the supply from each inverter, battery arrangement and PV panel or identified clustered group constitutes a supply and requires arrangements similar to point of supply which shall include switch disconnection arrangements and shall comply with 7.12.5. If applicable, all exposed conductive parts may require earthing as prescribed in 6.12.3. That brings us to the end of this video. Please click on the playlist to see the rest of the videos in our range as well as subscribe to our channel to be updated with the latest content. Thank you very much for watching this video and good luck with your exams.